Hello, so <laughs> I'm Adrien Chevalier, a French gypsy jazz, trap jazz, swing jazz violinist uh, in New York. Um, we are here in my backyard in Williamsburg and uh, yeah, we just played some gypsy jazz and, and a bit of swing. So I started around six, seven. Uh, both my parents are violinists, classical. So it was just the family tradition to play violin, and I, I yeah, I did not really want to be a musician because I, I knew I knew uh, <laughs> the lifestyle and and uh, yeah, I was more into science when I was a kid. But then I moved to Paris, and then the music uh, took over. I played music, and at this time when I, I was in Paris, I played mostly Balkan music, like Eastern mu Eastern European, um, yeah, klezmer and Balkan gypsy. So this tune is uh, called uh, <laughs> Claire de Lune, Joseph Cosmo. Thank you. 
gypsy jazz is it's a big part of the French culture, jazz manouche. And um, so basically, it's it started with uh, Django Reinhardt. It's it's uh, it's swing. It's like hot club style uh, from the 30s and 40s. So you have this energy, this beat, and uh, with some um, some influences of gypsy music. Not not really. It's more about the. I think to me, it's more about the energy, and still for me, it's very. It's like trad jazz. But the, also the instrumentation with the guitar, with the gypsy guitar, it's a kind of, it's a lot of strings, it's very acoustic music, style of music. That's the difference for me. Is that your, do you feel that's closest to your... Like, yeah, that's what I, I grew up with. So that's, that's close to my heart. <laughs> so the next one is going to be a, a gypsy waltz called indifférence. <laughs> close community of friends like the musician I, I just played with that's why we are not wearing masks because we are kind of the only people we've been seeing for the past six months you know 
So it's like we we build our own small family. And so we've been playing a bunch. I'm, I'm starting having a few gigs a week. And we'll see how it goes now. We don't know. Moving to New York was a change of scenery, a new experience, and I wanted to yeah, experience life change. And so I visited New York twice before moving, and uh, it was very, I was compelled to. Yeah. Um, how did you find it different here compared to Paris? So, the, yeah, the, the mentality in, in New York is very very interesting it pushes you to to create and to play to work all the time and it was it was a really amazing being able to play every night and uh, you know in New York sometimes you play two times a night or three times a night and uh, in Paris if you're lucky you play twice a week you know so the energy was very different and also in France we have the intermittent so the, the states give you money for artists uh, if you play a, a bunch of um, declared uh, gigs, you know, so the mentality is very different. It's in some ways it's it's a bit more creative because you have the time to to rehearse, to practice, to do uh, residencies where you're like for a week uh, practicing with your band. Here it's a bit more difficult, but the energy of like playing all the time, every night, it, it, it's yeah. New York is very special for that. So the next one, the next one is uh, called anniversary song, but it's actually a kind of a traditional Romanian song called uh, "The Waves of Danube." It's usually a waltz, but we're going to play it a bit gypsy. <laughs>
Bravo. Cheers. Same? Ah, I'm drinking uh, Lefroig. That's the, the, uh, the scotch of the jazz musicians. <laughs> Pity. Nice.